Every year at our property, we hold an Easter egg hunt with a difference. Participants are challenged not only to find objects, but also to solve a series of puzzles and contraptions in order to locate a trove of hidden Easter eggs. Hosted annually by the irrepressible Professor Porcupine and based on his travels and research, this year's theme featured Mayan artefacts in the form of puzzles and challenges. One of the biggest challenges and the finale for this particular hunt was the monument of Chak, the Mayan rain god. Participants were challenged to open the monument to find the hidden clues within. Closer examination of the monument would reveal some secrets. Firstly, that Chak's mouth and tongue were removable, allowing two small switches to be changed. Also, that his nose rotated sideways to reveal a mysterious but non-operational button and a light. Further towards the bottom of the monument were four rotating knobs with skull icons and a series of Mayan numbers around the perimeter. The skull icons matched the Mayan coins found earlier in the hunt, so the question remained how to interpret the number pictures on the back of the coins. The solution of course was found on the face of the steampunk clock, whose dial contained the same images. In effect, the clock face translated the pictures to numbers, and the dials could then be set. Turning the dials and removing the panel turned out to be a fraction disappointing, as removal of the panel only revealed a blank inner wall. From a technical point of view though, the removal triggered a small micro-switch that now allowed other operations in the monument to occur behind the scenes. How to proceed became the question. Earlier in the hunt, the puzzlers were given a clue that Chak despised the sun, and after some conjecture they realised that covering his eyes released a secret panel, revealing a series of switches, once again with a trio of numbers at the base. Again consulting the clock and knowing that our local Mayans understood binary, the three digit number revealed the sequence for the switches to be set. Having set the numbers correctly, the indicator light behind the nose was activated, indicating that the mysterious button may now be operational, and by pressing it, the lower panel wall began to open, revealing one of the last clues of the hunt. Much hilarity followed as the clue was found to be wrapped in Professor Porcupine's old underwear. There's a pair of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Are they soiled? Yeah. Yeah.